Hey everyone, it's me, the Otaku Figure here, and guess what? Tales of Her Eyes got a trailer in the release date! Woo! You never see it coming. Okay, so I've been waiting for Tales of Horizon information for what feels like a billion years now. Finally, we got a new trailer. Finally, we have a release date. Now, I'm assuming this is release date is for both English versions and the Japanese versions. They didn't give out an English trailer at the time of this recording. Maybe they will as soon as I post this video. And then I'm like, well, dang it, there it is. But <laughs> as of right now, oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I saw the trailer I was like, <gasps> finally. Finally, it's so exciting. So it looks like it's going to be a lot like Tales of Basaria in terms of gameplay. Probably a lot more polished now though, because it's been a long time since Tales of Basaria. And any Tales game for that matter. It's been a long time. <laughs> I've waited a long time for a new Tales game, and boy am I hoping this one delivers. So story-wise, the, the the things that I do know about slightly, it Seems like it's gonna be a pretty okay story, unless there's something I don't know yet. I remember when they first released a first trailer for it, I thought it looked kind of weak story-wise, but I'm very curious if maybe it's not, because I remember when it first came out, a lot of people akined it to Zestiria. And we all know how we feel about Zestiria, okay? <laughs> we don't talk about that game. Because the only reason we say that is because of how the main dude has main girl. Like, it's a lot like uh, Sore and um, that stuff, that thing, you know? It's, it reminds you a lot of like that, so. But main dude ain't Sore. This dude looks pretty cool, okay? At least he don't look like typical anime protagonist 101, even though he still kind of does, just not in that way. You know, he doesn't look like, you know what I mean? Like, he looks like your typical badass protagonist. To me, that's what he looks like. So I'm like, okay, here we go. And girl, she kind of reminds me of Alicia. I ain't gon' cap. That's kind of who she looks like. The new model style for the game, it's interesting. They're straying away from the typical big anime eyes. Like, they still look anime, but it's lesser so now. It looks more sort of realistic, but not like too realistic, you know? So it's very interesting. I don't know if I particularly like it. I don't hate it, but we'll see. Also, confirmed that Ufotable is still on the animation prediction. Yes, let's go. And apparently it's confirmed that these cutscenes will be the longest in the game's like the entire series history. And I'm like, oh, oh, oh long cutscenes, let's go, <laughs> let's go. That's exciting. That's very, very exciting. I am worried, just there's there's a few things about this game I'm worried about, you know, because this is their big comeback. This is the Tales of series huge comeback game. So they really got to make a good impression. And I hope that they can, because so far what I'm seeing, a lot of people are going to look at this game and go, meh, you know, they're going to look at the characters and be like, meh, because there's not a lot of standout characters. We got maybe one new character confirmed, maybe two, I'm not sure. Looking at the trailer, there was some dude that showed up, but so far we did get confirmed a mage girl who doesn't, like, she looks so just, you know, normal. Tales of games are known for its outstandish characters. Look at Mila. Look at Velvet. You know what I mean? That's what we're used to and a lot of this game so far of what we've seen are characters that look pretty bland, not stay- like they don't have a lot going on. They're pretty normal looking for the most part when it comes to anime standards. As their comeback game? That's a little bit worrisome right now. I know there's gonna be more characters. They haven't revealed them yet, but there's gotta be some ones that pop. You know what I mean? So let's hope for that because looking at what we have now, people are going to look at it and go, meh. They're going to, oh, okay, that exists. And that's something that I feel like they should really think about because again, this is the big comeback game and they really got to push it if they want the Tales of series to continue. This is the same thing that happened with Fire Emblem years ago. They made the new game, they didn't think it was going to be that good, but it popped off. And then we got Fire Emblem just for years to come, and then we got three houses. That's what they need to take this approach with this game, and I hope that's what they're planning, because if they do, Tales of could continue for the next, you know, 10 years or something, or even more. Let's hope that they're a little bit smarter about their choices, or maybe this is just their send-off game. Like, you know what? Maybe we'll make one new Tales game for the next generation of consoles, because this thing's using on PS5, Xbox, Xbox everything, and Steam! So it's like, they're making it, you know, they're making it, 
for the next gen and all that stuff. If they're doing it just because of that, mm, I don't know about that one. I'm very curious of what their plan is here. I'm, I am going to play this game. I am going to play this game. Am I going to get the special edition? Probably not. I do not want to spend like $100 for this game. Because so far of what I've seen of it, I'm... Like, okay, I'll pay 60, but I won't pay 100. If there's something else that changes, though, we'll see. As of it stands right now, I will pay 60, not 100. I, I would push them to say, hey, yo, make this a $100 game. Push it, push it, push it hard. <laughs> like, come on, man. Give me, give me a really hot girl. Like, the girls are cute, I guess, but, or give me a really hot dude. Like, lewd girl or something, you know? As a party member or something like that. Give me a redhead. I'm down. I'll pay you $100 for a redhead anime boy. <laughs> I am curious where this is going. I am worried. I have my concerns. I'm in between being concerned of what I've seen already and also very excited. I'm like, I'm, I'm flip-flopping. I'm like, <laughs> ah, ah, Tails! And I'm like, oh, worry, 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 you know? I love Tails. I, I've played a lot of Tails games. As you see over here, you know, I have two figures, all that stuff. I have keychains up there somewhere of Tails characters. Yeah, I'm a big Tails fan, a big Tails of fan. So I'm hoping this game is good. I'm very much hoping, and I will give my honest opinion about it when I do Let's Plays of it. That is happening. September, let's go. <laughs> September, Tails, woo, let's go. I, this is not the game to make me buy a PS5 because it's coming on PS4. I don't really care about graphical quality, ain't gon' cap. A lot of the time, when it comes to these kind of games, I mean, a lot of times in games, I don't really care about graphical quality. I play mobile games, fake grand order. I play that. Why would I care about graphical quality? So this still isn't the game that makes me buy a PS5, guys. <laughs> I'm still waiting for that one game that makes me buy a PS5. This ain't it, guys. <laughs> Which sucks. I was like, wait, are they gonna make this, like, the of course they're not gonna make it PS5 exclusive. The one game that they make PS5 exclusive that's an anime game that I wanna play, then I'll buy a PS5, but until then, I'll stick with my PS4. <laughs> but, oh man, I'm very excited for this game. It looks like it's gonna be interesting with what they've done so far and what they've revealed. The gameplay looks interesting. The story, I don't know about that. I'm curious. I'm very, very curious where they're going with this, so... We'll have to see where it goes. What did you guys think of trailers? We've seen all the new information they've given us. Do you think, like, how many more party members are they going to give us? What do you think about all the stuff? Leave it down in the comments below. And if you guys like supporting me, support the channel, just don't forget to hit that sub button. It helps me out a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And the Patreon, link in the description. Check it out. But I don't have much else to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in whatever Let's Play video I do next is. Until then, farewell!